Hey YouTube, we are back with more Evil Within. Hey Vector! So far we've done a few things. We beat um, Joseph and now we have to stealth our way around through various areas. These are very weird tube-like containers that they're keeping bodies in. They're missile tubes. How does an a you ate some frozen food thing? What's with these portions? How little does an average man eat? Uh, apparently, quite quite a bit. Oh, hey there. A little rude of you to show up looking like Rubik. Who the fuck do you think you are, Leslie? Arena, how hungry did it leave you? See, Leslie? We're almost there. Just a little further. Just a little further, she says, but we still have to deal with Noon and the other dude. gate here so you know some shit's gonna happen yeah there it is there's the waste hide cover you've got to be kidding me <laughs> shit Leslie you've got to hide don't come out until I call you There we go. What the fuck is this? This figurine has wings spread and shows the true form of the statue on the market. I guess you could say I started young. I would sneak into the graveyard, steal the statues, and hide them. I wanted people to think they were cursed, but every morning they were back in their right place. This figurine has a cow skull for head, appearing in Kidman's Nightmares. It is a bad omen. This figurine holds a crucifix between its wings. I had enough. When I knew I could survive on my own, I left and told myself I would never come back. Well, that was scary. Probably very rude. That's like when Benum Mark bursts to a door trying to grab you. Okay, so that is not where we want to go. This reminds me of the part where Sebastian came in. Like, <laughs> your hunger bar is decreased by 10%. Well, I guess it's time for you to decrease. So I got three statues. What the fuck do I do with them? Ah, that's what I do with them. Okay, you got a symbol there. You got five. Fourteen. At five came a plague taking our livestock, and with that, many took their lives. At seven, mother turned to church. The symbol was etched in her mind. At 14, I left, leaving only a note. I wrote that I'd gone to heaven. Okay, so at five, I think we should put... This one. 
this one. And then this one. Yay, we did it! Come on, the church is right ahead. It should be a little safer in there. No, we got fucking. Okay, so what's the objective here? Do I gotta flee from this fuck? We gotta get by? I think we just gotta get by him. But he's probably much faster than we are. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Oh, he hates it. Well, he gave up quick. Good thing there's a sack of potatoes there for him. More like a crate of potatoes or... A gunny sack of potatoes. Hey! Hi. Welcome, Lock. I'm kidding, that's not really a jute bag, is it? A wicker basket. How's it going, Lock? Go. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving! There's those symbols again. That wasn't too bad. I thought that would be much, much more difficult. All things considered. How was your weekend, sir? I think I made lots of progress in Tales of Arise. She keeps pulling out her gun, but I don't have any ammo. It's all right. I'm here. Nothing is going to get you. You have to stay with me. There's no other way. He's here! Ruvik, what do you want with me? You. I'm just making sure you're doing your job. Just like me, I doubt they want damaged goods. Back up! He's coming with me! Oh, I hope so. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. I... Your people aren't the only ones counting on this boy. You need him to get out. As do I. What? We're all their pawns. Eventual victims. They killed me. They ripped me apart and took what they needed. I will destroy what they wish to control. Stop it! Let him go! He is my vessel. I am in control. I sense a conflict of interest. Just what was your mission exactly? Do you think their all prying eyes can't see in here? They've been watching you, kid. What are you doing, kid? You are to bring the boy back to us. No! I can't! 
If I bring Leslie out, Ruben comes with him. We don't know what he's capable of. I... I can't let that happen. in a position to make decisions like this. This is not acceptable behavior. You will bring us back that boy. Well, that was rude. Run all you want, kid. You can't escape. Like everyone else that crosses us, we will hunt you down. Come back, kid. You have a job to do. Enough games. Creepy. Come back. You will bring us back that boy. Oh shit, we done. We did it. The evil within the assignment. Having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities. I can't trust you! Not like this! No. She's... she's coming with us. She's my responsibility. Look, Seb, we need to talk. You're getting out of control. Finally, with this machine, I can go back. We can continue the experiments. There are some things here that are to remain in the dark. Beacon. I just hope I can get there before he does. Yeah. A little hasty with that gun, kid. What is it you plan on doing? What I have to do. Not as it seems. New game plus. Why would I want to play New Game Plus on that? You can now choose Kuriyami mode. Mode of selecting it. What the fuck is Kuriyami mode? I died thirteen times. That's much better than. The uh, main game. Let's see where I get this one. We did it, guys! But yeah, now we get to do part two. And look, uh, I am really liking it so far. Um, I have a few complaints, and they're very minor, but they're doing that thing that all Tales games do where they fucking overuse all of the. Uh, all the monsters. Just over and over and over again. Alright guys, we're gonna do the consequence. It is part two to uh, Kidman's DLC. Julie Kidman's story continues as her mission and rebelliousness drag her in deeper into the nightmares of Rubik's world. Now the third DLC isn't story mandatory. Like there's nothing to the story as far as I know. It's kind of like a boss rush. We'll do it, but you'll see. Either way, let's hop into uh, the consequence and see what's going on here. Yeah, sure.
Yeah, I, I'm not saying DQ doesn't. Um, fortunately, Dragon Quest has a pretty massive pool that most games don't recolor right away. Some do. do. Your past secrets haunt you. Do you wish to tell them, but something holds you back? Come back, kid. You have a job to do. No! Stop! Get away from me! Stop running! <laughs> yeah, like, but the Tales games, they're over? particularly the worst for it. I'm back? Cats. Agent Kidman? Do you think she likes cats? Also, why would they just leave her in that outfit? She was in the uh, hospital. Piss off, lady. I'm looking at cats. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Tails is probably the worst for model reusage. Like, usually in most JRPGs that do it, you can find um, a few zones between each area. But I remember... Tales of Zillia, particularly. Uh, I would enter one area, there was a bug mob and a bird with a fucking pointed beak. And in the next area, the same model, just the bird had a curved axe beak instead, and there was a bug with a tail now. But it was the same model. And it was like, guys, come on, put a little bit of effort into spreading these models out. No, no. Where is this place? Ah. Well, guys, we are in the hospital, and this is the room that, uh, one of the rooms that we couldn't see into. Oh, what's this? Okay. Uh, well, let's look around, see if we can find a solution to it. There it is. 1231. Oh, okay, I see, I see. If I turn this, that turns the center one, okay. And if I turn this, that moves it over three. So we want that to be at zero and this to be at one. Got it. T uh, uh, combat wise, though, Tales of Rise is far and away better than most of the other ones. Uh, I dare say even better than Berseria, and I enjoyed Berseria a lot. Uh, it's better than Vers Vesperia's combat, uh, and again, I liked Vesperia a lot. This is that weird dude who kept telling me to avoid Ruvik's chamber, and I guess this is Joseph's? Do you think Joseph has one of these mind hospitals that he goes into, too? Are we awake? Hey, you! What's going on? Where is this place? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. Are you kidding me? Ugh, waste of time. Oh. Well then. It appears her memory palace has, uh... The fuck she doing? Hey! I know you're out there. Do you have any idea why this world is the way it is? Hate. Hate. Ruvik's hate. The man's consumed by it. He wants out. Wants to get his revenge. He wants back what he feels the world took from him. I mean, I don't know. Who's that? How does he know about Ruvik? Despite our powerful benefactors, with this much collateral damage, it's only a matter of time before people start to take notice. 
KCPD has been dropping by a female officer. I don't remember her name. Regardless, the police are not something I should be involved with. Mobius says they will take care of it and make an effort to ensure KCPD leave us alone. Then there is the reporter from the Crimson Post, Ivan. Something or other, he has become a personal annoyance. He barely qualifies as a tabloid journalist, writing cover stories about tales of church sacrifices and other nonsense. Tales but of church sacrifices. But now he's being persistent about the missing patient's claim. I'll be damned if he is the man who brings Beacon down. It seems that Reuben could be useful for other forms of problem solving. Perhaps I can interest this reporter in an exclusive interview. Is that who the man in this room is then? Is that uh, the reporter? Oh, whose room is this? Oh, it's Leslie's room. Okay, so it's not Leslie. Joseph's. Joseph doesn't get if his I'm own room, here, apparently. And he must be too. Sunflowers. Interesting. All right. So what do you guys think of the first half of the DLC? It was pretty interesting, right? This is Sebastian's room, or at least he usually is. Too bad they dragged you into this. But either way, you're mine. To do with as I please. I remember that scene. Sebastian. He must be somewhere else right now. Damn it, he doesn't have anything to do with this. Disgusting. You thought it was disgusting? That was a safe point. Oh, it. Oh, okay. Kitten. Okay, that's not a safe point. That's a cat. They don't let me get in close to any of those. Where'd the cat go? Oh, that's weird. Society is wounded. People are suffering. Hopeless. Just as you were. Before we saved you. Mobius can now do the same for everyone. STEM is a machine designed to connect everyone subconscious. And whoever is at the center has the power to influence them. There couldn't be a better tool to change the world to lead. Society needs a curator, and Mobius will be just that. Ushering in the next step of humanity. The next step of humanity is pod people? Oh. Where they just kind of like exist? In, in this Matrix style world? We must have that boy. He will enable us to change everything. I'll come back with him. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. But if Ruvik leaves with him, there must be some way to stop him. What I'm most concerned about is... Mobius. Something's pulling me back. Is her shoes. Like, why the heck would she wear high heel shoes into any... You should find this useful. Potential combat situation. You found it disgusting? While it is theoretically the possible for a host to overwrite themselves on a user, the odds of compatibility are astronomical. But the boy, Leslie, you're saying he's a compatible subject. Yes. And based on Ruben's notes, the stem should be able to run with Leslie as its source. I need you to do tests. Determine what must be done to make him the blank slate we need. They knew. They knew what Leslie was capable of. Of course they did. Damn it, why would they hide that from me? Because you're an agent. They don't have to tell you anything, apparently. That's how government and shadow organizations exist. 
thought there was somebody leaning over. Oh, we're back here again, guys. This game is so dark. I don't know how long this one is, uh, so... I am pretty excited to get into it, though. Like, this has been really interesting seeing them. We had a stem them. terminal here. On the lowest floor. If Leslie's in here with me, he's probably headed there. And that may be my way out of here. Anyway. It's all been really, really interesting so far. Before I go through there, I do want to check around this other areas a bit more. I think that's the door I came in through. I love mind trippy stories like this. They're usually very interesting to me. Um, if you guys never played it, uh, if you can get a copy of it, which you can on um, Origin, but that game, that version is kind of buggy. Uh, so if you can figure out how to get past the bug in the beginning of the game, and then, uh, yeah. Um, Alice and Atnes Returns is a superb game. I can't get through with the power out. I've got to get things running again. I hope we don't have to deal with Floodlight Lady again. That was annoying. Oh, okay. Brain energy. I really want to have an actual energy drink called Brain Energy now. I actually didn't even get all the uh, fragments of the notes. I need to go back and get the second one. There we go. Shit. Well, that's not good. No. This game's already dark see enough. Anything in here? Chemical lights. Better than nothing, I guess. I can't see a fucking thing in here. That sucks. person thing down below. Oh, they are down below. Okay. Oh, I hate it. It's horrible. It seems to give me an infinite amount of them, though. Oh, this is just a hiding place for me. Okay. I understand. Just some place that I can climb up? No. Okay. That's great. I guess I gotta sneak by those so that they don't try to fucking grab me.
So the objective here is just to get through that door, because I think we can do that. Like that. This is so dark. I have to check my though. Let me scratch my ear. Scratch my ear. Take a drink. Whew. Let's stop our recording.